What's up everybody? This is Marion Oaks, south of Ocala, Florida. I think this area is going to be a fast growing community. There's a Puerto Rican community here that's starting to move in from Puerto Rico, New York. Lots of Puerto Ricans moving to this part of Florida. This is another one of those communities that everybody has something negative to say about on the internet. But if you actually come here and see it in person, it seems like there's a lot of new houses. Really quiet. And the older ones, it looks like they're keeping it up pretty well. Yeah, well, well kept. Well kept nice and everything. We'll, we'll see. We'll explore. It's been a while since we've been out here, so I don't know what the deal is. But uh, it's a fast growing community. You can see on the other block, there's a brand new house going out. North of Tampa kind of all looks the same. Citrus, Fernando, Pasco, Marion, all these communities kind of all look the same. This is a community that has a horrible reputation on the internet. If you go and look it up, it's going to tell you it's horrible. But I think it's going to be a, a good place to invest. I think the real estate here is going to go up. Lots of new houses going up. And uh, lots of Puerto Ricans moving into this part of uh, Ocala. New house going in. standard at least with the, when it comes to the housing We're on southwest 130 and southwest 79 circle Just outside of Ocala, close to the Rainbow Springs, one of the nicest uh, springs in Florida. Springs is nearby. And it's in the Ocala National Forest. In the Ocala National Forest. These people have a green and white theme going on. Even the lions got some of it. But it looks very Latino. Very Latino thing to do to paint your house green. La Casa La Pintada Verde. That's my Puerto Rican accent. I think there's also, um, I was looking on Google Maps, there's a Haitian church. So maybe more than just Puerto Ricans, and maybe all types of Latinos moving in this area. A lot of people trying to flee Orlando. In Miami as well, but mostly Orlando. Lots of new houses. That's the horse. 
emotions going in the world. We like to hang around the hall to drink a beer. All my rider friends have settled down with Mexican women. Alright, you can't see it all in the video, but on the other side of the road, they're clearing a lot, putting in a foundation for La Casa Nueva. New houses. We like to drink a beer and drink a beer. Loquats. That's the proper pronunciation. Oh, look at that. You know they're Puerto Rican. They got a Honda Civic. They got a Honda Civic sitting in there. You know they're from Puerto Rico because they have a Honda Civic. A nice little area. Y saludo a toda mi gente bonita, a la gente buena de Puerto Rico, los latinos más trabajadores que hay en los Estados Unidos, la gente de Puerto Rico, la gente de Aguadilla, la gente de San Juan, toda mi gente de Puerto Rico en la zona de Orlando y Ocala, un gran saludo mi gente. We got a new house going in right here. Lots of new houses going in. For sale. They're making it just to sell it. Toda la gente de Puerto Rico, un gran saludo y abrazo. La isla del encanto. De una paloma, las dos alas. Cuba y Puerto Rico. The land of salsa music. La isla de música, fiesta y comida rica. Arroz con habichuela es lo que hay. If you ever uh, try, see one of those Puerto Rican food trucks, you should definitely try them out. Good. They're good. They got these little Puerto Rican pork chunks. I what those called. can't remember. But they got these uh, really nice uh, pork chunks with mofongo. Man, that stuff is good. Yeah, buddy. If you ever see a Puerto Rican food truck, try some mofongo. Really good Puerto Rican food. Lots of African Americans. All the houses on the right side of the road are brand new. I mean, the grass is still kind of faded. You can tell I just put this house in. There's already people living in them. Let's see if I can swing around this block real quick and show you guys. A 
on Google Earth, these houses are all brand new because when you look on Google Earth, you can't even see them on Google Earth. Nothing shows up on Google Earth when you look at when you look at this street here. I think there's only two houses on Google Earth, so all these other houses on the street, they just put them in. Brand new houses. You can see the grass, you can tell it's brand new. This one's brand spanking new. I don't even think living in that one yet. This one's brand new. They're all brand new. None of these houses are even on Google Earth yet. Lots of new houses. Hear that mockingbird? Beautiful. And it sings something. Yeah, they're in the Arroz con habichuela y vianda es lo que hay. Nueva York y me dejó solito. This road recently got paved, so we're riding on a smooth road. Very nice, brand new road. Very nice, real quick. This hill right here, and they're building another one. Concrete block construction. Just here. Is this the same house? Yeah, it is. We're just here. All right, guys, we're driving around in circles. Are we? Yeah. I think they just yeah. all look the same. nice suburban area
on the internet and you read nothing but horrible things about this neighborhood. And then you come out here and they're building new houses on every corner. Yet, when you go on the internet, there's nothing but horrible, nothing but horrible information about this community. Nothing but bad stuff about this town on the internet. You come out here, and these are the type of places that end up on those people's top 10 list of worst places to live. Uh, some guy who lives in another state never stepped foot in Florida, making a top 10 list about Florida, and they never stepped foot in Florida to know what it's actually like out here. that for a fact. There's no way the crime here can be highly legal. Turn right on Southwest 83rd Terrace Road. And the weather's mild up here. South Florida is an oven. It gets pretty pretty bad up here too, don't get me wrong. But today on a day like today to be hot in Naples is more mild here. Haitian community. Nice new houses. Population density is a little higher here. See those cracks on the side of that wall like that? That lets you know there's a uh, sinkhole activity if you see cracks on driveways cracks on walls that's so something to look out for I 
gonna venture and say that most people here are African American. So this is a, it's a nice African American community. A lot of people think that all African American communities are bad. It's a very ignorant thing to say. Every uh, major city in Florida has really nice African American communities. North Miami has some nice, really nice uh, African American communities. Some sections in there, the real estate is half a million and up. All African American for the most part. Just uh, stupid people, stupid ideas. Thank you for subscribing. Charlene H. Welcome to our channel. New subscriber. We're on Southwest 185 Circle and Southwest 86th Avenue. Very nice African American community. New houses, lawns well kept. And a lot of a lot of growth. I'm gonna put some trees in here to make this neighborhood look nicer. You gotta plant some trees. Lots of elderly people. You can see this one's got a this one's got a disabled ramp. Lots of older people too. I've noticed that. So check, there's a lot of retired older people here. Retired older African Americans mostly. American communities but just that's not the type of thing that other people publish they only want to publish the bad I honestly understood that this is mostly Hispanic out here so I'm in a Facebook group and uh, about Latinos in Ocala and they all live over here so I figured Nice area. No, if this was Naples, these houses would be three hundred thousand. Can you see what these houses are going for, Katie? And, and, and I know what they're going. For. What are they going for? Uh, like a little bit of space between the properties but some people like the feeling of living in a community me I like a little bit of space between the houses some landscaping that keeps some distance between you and the neighbors but to each their own I guess Okay, this area has a Bellevue, Florida address. Turn left on the Southwest 81 circle. 
modern wagon. I haven't seen that in ages. I haven't seen that in ages. People, you can get a brand new house for $130,000 out here. Brand new. Zero miles. Yeah, buddy. New car smell. You get a brand new house out here for under $150,000. Well, that's why they're building so many houses out here. Because the affordability of it is incredible. That's why there's... Everything is going to be new and then you can get a very nice house for under 200,000 so can't beat that. This is massive, we only like explore the corner. Oh, let's go to the old school area though. Yeah, let's go old school. I'm seeing a lot of Hondas from the 90s. I think we'll pass on the old car tunnel, let's just get to the car. It's much more important than this. 